Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the primary structure of protein and now in this topic I am going to talk about the secondary structure of protein. So what is secondary structure of protein? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends, talking about the secondary structure of protein, let us understand the definition of it. That is the structure which represents the manner in which the polypeptide chains are folded or arranged is called as secondary structure of protein. So based on that, they are divided into two types that is alpha helix structure and beta pleated structure. So what is alpha helix structure? This is what I'm going to explain. So this is a schematic diagram for the alpha helix structure. And here basically you can find that is the protein molecules or the polypeptide they are basically they are getting coiled up over here so as you can see over here that is there is a formation of a intra hydrogen bonding over here that is where we can find that is this c double bond o it forms the hydrogen bonding with the mh group within the same protein itself so here basically because of this nature or because of this property they get coiled up in such a way and that's the reason that they are known as alpha helix so here basically we can see the hydrogen bonding and that occurs in this kind of structure only so therefore this is nothing but the secondary structure which gives a sequence and how they are arranged how the peptide linkage is been arranged so this is the first type of the secondary structure of proteins and now let me discuss about the next one so talking about the next type of the secondary structure of protein that is pleated sheet structure of proteins so in this case we can see that is they are arranged in a straight manner that is in a they are arranged in a straight chain manner but here basically you can find a similarity that is if you talk about the alkyl group that is this alkyl group so alternately we could get the alkyl groups on the same side so in this case there would be various polypeptide chains or there would be various proteins where we could find that is this is a straight chain that is what we could get but they can also interact with each other and that is how we see there is a formation of hydrogen bonding also and that's the reason that they can be on each other and that's the reason that they could be placed on each other and they could slide on each other so therefore this is what the beta pleated sheet structure of the protein is and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this topic very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eager channel thank you so much